Um, I'd like to show you uh, the new upgrade to my lathe. I, uh, I finally upgraded it with the new Watkin Temple Drive. And uh, this is a far superior drive. I'm just going to show you what I've done here. Um, most of the drives you get today, you need an enclosure, and uh, I, I ended up sticking mine in a 60 amp uh, square D disconnect. Um, what's great is, is these, uh, uh, these front covers come off, and so they actually fit inside. I've got a little hole right there, lets air in, and I've got air out the top and the fan just blows right through. Uh, the inverters, um, the inverter uh, can monitor temperature at the, at the controls up front here. And uh, so uh, you can maintain that, it will not shut down thermally until it reaches 40 degrees Celsius. And that can be programmed into your C functions. So what I've got is the external keypad ran up to here so I can use the potentiometer. I'm using uh, a magnetic starter that originally controlled this uh, uh, three-phase power here. And I'm using that to actually switch the power on the inverter. So you can see that shut down, and that actually uh, is a lockout. There's also another lockout uh, turn switch there. And uh, uh, this allows me to do tool changes and whatnot. And now I have, uh, I have with the spare uh, connection in here, switched a 110 volt light. And basically, that's, that's its configuration. So I'm actually switching through a magnetic coil the power that's being fed to the variable frequency drive. Now you can see I still have a little light on. It takes a long time for those banks to, to power down even though you've shut it off. And really you should never go into this box with that red light on. It's, uh, it needs to bleed off all the capacitors. There's high voltage in there. So uh, anyway, that's what that indicator light is for. Uh, I love the Square D disconnection enclosure. It gives me strain relief and whatnot. And it just definitely looks vintage. Uh, and uh, quite attractive, easy to access. So now what did I do uh, for controls? Okay, so uh, what we have here is, as I said, this bank of controls here is controlling the power to the VFD. In other words, that's the isolation. I want to separate power. So if I want to turn power on now, I'm ready. I'm going to unlock my uh, emergency stop. I'm also needing to, uh, it will not start with the key off, so I need to turn the key on. If I had a key, I want to lock out children, and now it's turned on. And you'll see that the drive is, is livening up. These two buttons actually control the drive. That's forward and stop. I may add another one back down here, which is reverse. But I've also got this control, which is remote. This can be placed anywhere along the bed. And this has forward. It also has reverse. And it has reverse uh, set up in a function, so it'll stop it in and start it back up. Same with forward. If I push forward, it'll stop, reverse, break it, and bring her back to forward. So I've timed all those. Okay, so what's fantastic is I can put that anywhere and control it. 
control, especially if I'm working far at that end. I don't want to reach back up here. Um, so if I'm turning, and I think that's too slow, my tensionometer's right here. So this is uh, currently using only momentary switches. These aren't maintained switches. The drive actually signals either with momentary or maintained switches in a number of configurations. And um, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, it's utterly fantastic. Uh, so I, I thought I'd like to show you my new setup. How awesome is that? Very easy. Uh, I may add some more, but this is for those wanting to do uh, the lathes. And uh, I'll post the parameters at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed.